All right, I'm going to play some uh, Tour 6 here, trying to do my uh, pin chest, and we've got the Juniper Point and Southern Pines, or excuse me, Juniper Point and City Park holes available to us here. So if I land on one of the Juniper Point or City Park holes that we're looking for in the tournament, I'm going to pop out some bigger stuff. But uh, for the most part, I'm just going to go out there and <laughs> see what we can do. There'll be a lot of really good players playing in Tour 6 this week. With uh, since there's nothing available from the second and the third tee, so there's going to be a lot of people playing down in tour six. So we'll see how it goes. This will be Marlin extra extra mile. Not quite all the top spin. On and one. If I can remember the spot and I just played this hole last week and it took me like two times to come in here and I, and I remembered the spot. Now, of course, I'm, that was like five days ago. <laughs> that was last week. That was a week and a half ago. I can't even remember that. Let's take a Marlin. Let's take, yeah, let's switch bags. Let's take all but a little of the top spin. I remember correctly I'm gonna go half my blue ring can't remember I think it was half my blue ring we'll see we'll see if that's the spot three four that's a little over half a ring it's 2.1 per ring it's like 46 accurate or something so 46 accurate represents 2.1 per ring let's see if that was the right spot that was I could have gone out just a little bit more, so probably all of my blue ring, not two and a half, but I could have went out probably three out to my blue ring, and that would have been even better. And you can do that with an extra mile. With an extra mile six, you can get over, but it's hard to get all the way on, but it's worth the effort. Because you can catch it sometimes if you get it just at the right angle. An extra mile seven, even though it doesn't have any more top spin or power, is a little bit better because it's got cur because of the extra curl. But you can do it with you can work it out if you've got a lower developed extra mile. You can work that shot. You'll have to change the rings. Like I was two and a half rings off of the transitional surface. Took the wind out. If you have headwind and you're it's around two, you'll probably need to up it to a. Uh, to like a navigator. I don't know if I would go with a quasar just because of the extra side spin. And if you're up against a three and a half to four mile an hour headwind, you'd up it to a katana and so forth. If you've got headwind there, but that shot, well, that shot is that's why when you're doing those max overpower hook shots, the first time you go out and you do a max over, this is why it's so important to record your own gameplay. Because the first time you go out and you re, and you hit one of those max overpower hook shots and you hit it just right, go back and watch your video and find the spot. Your white rings off the transitional surface or your ball guy was aiming right towards the tree or whatever the case may be. And you can go back to that same spot and you can and you can continue to work that shot. That's why I always take the wind out when I do those max over power hook shots because then it it's it becomes more repeatable. The wind is is going to affect your ball, but name another shot that we do where we don't at least address the wind. And so I always take the wind out, and then it kind of standardizes that shot. What I need to get better at because it usually takes me about it usually takes me two to three times before I can catch the max over power hook shot right. Um, because I don't know, I just kind of, I, I just, you can, what am I doing here? I'm using a quasar here. Let's buy some, let's buy some quasars. Let's buy nine of them. I can just kind of look at it and let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to do all of this. And it's 2-2. Two, two. It's about a ring. I don't know. I just kind of eyeball it. And I've done enough overpower hook shots that I can get it. I was playing against one of my teammates. 
yesterday dinner, we were out playing and I ended up in a spot that I wasn't anticipating kind of like this and was able to, uh, or I was in the rough on my second shot and I had no shot, but I could reach the fairway and I was able to do a max or power shot with my Nirvana and I was able to get up and recover and get on. And those max or power, knowing, knowing some of your clubs, like your, your rough iron, especially if you've got a Nirvana in your bag, it, how much you can, how much hook you can get on it is a ton. <laughs> and so even though it doesn't have a lot of curl, it, you can, it slices really big. I've just done that shot so many times. I kind of have an idea. I can just kind of visualize like where it's going to go. And I'm not always right, but usually if I, if I'm in that tour and I'm playing that hole on a regular basis, if I shoot that shot once, the next time I go back, especially if it's that day or the next day, I can, I'll remember if I start getting into three, four five days and I haven't played those holes or a week or two weeks or a month, I always forget. But I have a general idea of where I need to be so that I'll go out there and, and a lot of times the first shot, well, I'll tank the first shot, but the second, once I get on that second shot, I'm good to go. Good to go. Let's see where we're at in club. There's max. So there's, there's mid. So I'm in the, I'm going to say the three per ring range. So I'm going to do, I'm going to just do a full ring pull because I want to get a little bit away from those trees. I'm going to put curl on it. So it's those trees aren't really going to play a factor. I probably don't need to put that much curl on it. Get a one ring grade on the inside. And I still put too much curl on it. I find when you end up and you're not in the spot that you want to end up in, the thing is to safely get on onto the green. The whole goal when you're playing one-on-one -on -one is to win chess. And why are we winning chess? Because we want to upgrade our clubs. <laughs> and so the whole deal is, is that in one-on-one, -on -one, my opponent put himself, put themselves in a tough spot. And so anything I can do to, uh, put pressure on them and being on the green, not very far from the cup definitely puts pressure on them. And they were able to nicely recover. Good job. Good job. Eagle. We just recently had this in a tournament. I got Eagle on it every time during that tournament, but once, and I was in a spot that wasn't, I was actually, pretty dang close to the spot that I was actually aiming for. I wanted to get a little bit farther forward. When I did that drive shot right there and it came around the bend, it didn't clip the rough. It hit the fairway and that's why it rolled forward and got into the rough. But I like to come around that bend and clip the rough. And I clipped the rough. Good game. And ended up pretty close to where I wanted, but there, there was a tree. If I fully extended my club to get max distance on my guardian, it was, uh, I, I hit the tree. If I pulled back to the point where you could do the rough bump there, there's a nice rough bump if you got a sniper in your bag on that hole. And when I pulled back to do the rough bump, I could get to the rough bump area, but with a guardian, I only had three and a half top spin. <laughs> and I was short. Let's open up chest. Let's get let's get it rolling here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get them commons rolling. Roll on. Hole. Tour six. U.S. champions. Juniper point. Hole five. Is that one of the ones? What are we looking for? We're looking for juniper point. Hole five. This is one of the holes we're looking for. And I should be using a... What I'd really like to do on this is a big topper, a kingmaker, and a sniper. But in my big topper bag, I have a big dog and a big dog's definitely not the best hole to come in this at the th the thing about this hole is is that if you're trying to go straight forward you really need to it, you really it's nice to have a big ball but if you're going over to this area right here you don't necessarily have to exert 
or spend a big ball. And you have a sear, you have a nice wood shot at it. Let me see if I can get this shot going forward. So the wind's going to push me. It's going to push me back right there. Let me take the wind out. What I'm doing here is I'm just taking out the side wind. So there's three, one. I'm going to put a little bit of overpower on it to compensate. Isn't it great? I'm just ending up out in this area right here. There's a spot out here that you can get, and I've hit it a couple times where it's one of those spots where when your ball is coming down the slope, it hits the hill. And it's all the hill, one of these moguls is almost at the same angle as when it hits and it scoots across the fairway. Anybody that's played this for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about, where it just like slides across the fairway. It's like skipping a stone. And I've ended up way up in the front, like way up in the front. And it was scary as hell because, you know, when that happens, it's like, wow, that's that's the kind of shot that ends you up in the rough. You're far enough up there that you're you're in rough rough iron range but I find coming from that direction it's hard because you're coming up that side hill and so you don't you're coming up this hill at that angle and it's hard it doesn't lend itself you can get Alvy here but it doesn't lend itself to Alvy and that freaking sand trap right there is a magnet I'm at minimum club Which is like 1.5 per ring, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like a 10% adjustment. I think we were doing a 10%, so that's six. So there's six, four rings at 1.5 per ring, at minimum club. Hitting it perfect. See if we can get that sucker in the hole. Get in the hole, ball. Just. The bit outside. The first time I ever made an Albie on this hole, I was I brought a Guardian and I was able to backspin that sucker right to the cup. I tried to do, I think I was, it, I, I've shot that shot several times with my Guardian and made Albie here. But this is not one of those big high percentage Albie holes. But you can shoot it. You don't have to bring, if you bring out bigger equipment, it will help you because right there you can see I was in minimum with a with a quasar where I was at. I was in minimum wood. So if I had had a kingmaker right there or a titan with the extra distance that I could have got on the drive, I would have been in my max long iron and you can get a pretty good shot at. And one of the things that we have different this time is I, I'm not sure that we've had this that hole since the uh, since the grizzly came out. So, so now that we have that grizzly in our bag, I'm real curious to see what that hole looks like if we can get a better look at it because of the ball guide on the grizzly. And I know in the past, like the backbone is more accurate, but I never really liked the backbone. I'm really happy that they reworked the grizzly. Some of the stuff on what they did with the club card trading and the club changes, I'm not real happy with. I mean, as a player who's been playing for a long time, um, I know that there was a lot of pressure from the community, especially newer players, because, you know, hey, they finally got a club maxed out. So they were all bitching about the fact that they had all these extra club cards, not really stepping back and thinking, hey, there's people that have been playing this game for two, two years that have thousands and thousands the club card trading has been out now since what January this year and I still have 140,000 cards to trade in I'm going to do a 20% pool 
It seemed like when I was here earlier today, so that'd be two, four. So there's two, four. No, oh. it's not going to happen when you hit it great, especially when you're hitting low down there like that, because it'll throw you. You don't have, if you come at it, here's the thing. If you come at it down the hill, it'll bowl you and it'll end you up right by the cup. But if you're trying to take the lower shot, like I'm taking there, and I obviously need more practice at that. Um, if you're trying to take that lower shot to go straight at the hole, any error is is an error. You're going to end up way off the cup. I'm trying it out down there at the bottom because they've changed that hole so many times that I've had to relearn how to play that hole several on. I think it's really, it's, it's at least on a third, but I think they made a minor change to it one tournament and it may be on its fourth configuration. And so I've had to relearn how to play it enough times that I now don't know how to play it anymore. I don't know where the spot is anymore. I'm just going to have to find a spot that I like. Now this is a hole right here that I definitely want to bring out. What I'd really like to bring out is that bag right there, but I'm not sure. Let me see if I can get up into that zone. I'm going to try and I want to lay up up here at the top and I'm going to do let's let's try two and a two and a half top spin and that's going to be super close I think I think it's going to overshoot and I hit it 700 rings great to the right Trying to snap it off there before I ran out of time. Roll back in the row. <laughs> I'm just going to chip it over to the spot that I was really trying to get to. But I think that distance right there was was actually not too bad. So what was that? Two and a half top spin. So I'm going to just, I'm going to literally just like pitch it over because I wouldn't have got much more forward momentum than where I ended up. But uh, you're going to see a lot of people doing their drop down, trying to roll it off of the I see a lot of people, I see this as a successful shot quite often, but I also see probably an equal amount of times where people end up in the rough, either down at the bottom or over on the other side. Now, the good news is, is that if you overshoot it really big and you end up in the rough down on the other side over here, you can get on. I think you can get on with your, with your Nirvana from there. We'll have to see whether they're in their, uh, I'm going to just shoot it right here so that I can see. I'm going to do, because this would be like minimum distance. I left quite a room, quite a bit of room on the table there. So let's just see if we can get up from here. Because the whole thing is, is that, hey, you know, can you even get up from here? But I really think with the, I've always wanted, really want to work this upper fairway instead of trying to bounce it. Because the other way to come at it is to go straight forward on that drive. And I am not a fan, not a fan of involving that sand trap in my shot coming into this cup. And I realize that if you do the sand trap shot, you can go right at it. But watch their backspin as they're tightening up that backspin in order to get to the hole and where they're coming in at it. Let's, let's see how they do on that. It was pretty nonchalant on moving the wind. I don't like hitting over sand traps when you're coming into greens like this. But that's just me personally. And there's a little bit of a backboard here, so you can you you don't want to overhit it too much, but you can you can get up there. I'm just curious to see if I have enough enough distance here. I think this would be I really think this would be better with a guardian. Because a guardian would give me 10 more yards of raw distance. So I'd be somewhere up about where I'm at right there. And I think from that distance, I wouldn't need to have a lot of overpower and it's going to push me back towards my white line I'm going to come up just a little bit more it 
see if we can see if it's even possible to get up there. I think the shot would be much better off, much better with a guardian. I should have, I have a guardian in my uh, apocalypse bag. But I'm going to work on this hole. I'm going to work on that spot up there at the top because I want to see what it looks like. Because normally when I get on this hole, my normal MO is to hit straight forward and go out with a big dog. And in most cases, I'm I'm not, I'm probably about from where I'm at to the green, about half the distance. And I just, I don't try and get greedy here. I just chip it out right in front of the green and then I'll chip it up with my Nirvana to get Eagle because this is a hole right here that just like me, it, you come here with the best of intentions and you, uh, and you end up in the spot of bother. And what pisses me off there is I didn't get to take a putt. So I, I that means I have to play one extra match. <laughs> but it's all about practice in these. I mean, more most of the time when I'm playing tours, because I don't really play any one tour. If I'm out just having fun, a lot of times I'll play tour seven, but I I'm typically I'm typically either playing in a tournament or I'm playing in a tour that has holes that are in the next tournament. So I'm demoing shots or I'm doing that stuff. So I don't really have any place that I live. Now, like everybody's playing tour five or you're playing tour six or whatever tour you're playing tour nine or whatever tour you're playing. I don't, I don't really have the opportunity to do that. <laughs> I just play wherever, wherever the next tournament is. So that means that my pool of holes that I'm playing is really big. And I tend not to remember the nuances. I like these holes, though. I like these holes a lot better now than I did when they first came out. I was not a fan of these holes when they first came out. They came out for the 2017 Christmas tournament. And they were just absolutely a ruined it <laughs> they were in tour nine and they just ruined i it just screwed that whole i was i got to tour nine i was fully prepared for what was in tour nine at the time and i'm gonna bring a quasar i don't think i'm gonna need more than about two and a half let's see with my quasar the five rings out I think it's five rings out with my quasar. I'm gonna pull back just a little so that I can adjust for the wind. Take the wind out, two six. I'm still gonna hit the red line right there. I'm gonna do max curl and see if I can re see if I remembered this right. right. Hitting one ring great on the inside. And I did remember it right, but I got the top spin wrong. I, th I think it was only about maybe one and a half, two top spin. It doesn't take much to get down into that hole. If you have a quarterback, and I don't care what level it is, if you have a quarterback, traditionally with my quarterback, if you've got an upper developed quarterback, it's three rings. So blue ring off the transitional line, take out the wind, max side spin, max curl, one or two top spin. Bam, you're right down the middle of the chute. I mean, it's just bam, you're right down the middle of the chute. If you've got a lower developed QB, you may have to adjust your rings because you don't have enough as much curl. You may be two and a half rings off that transitional surface. Um, I know with my rock, just from playing this hole a bunch of times, that that's the deal. Where does that put me? Okay, so I want to be right there. So there's be right there. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine. Let's see if I can get my wind right. Just kind of riding along the red line. And slice that up into the sand. This is my only shot. I could have done a max or a power hook shot there. What was I thinking? And the only reason I couldn't get up there, and that's why in a tournament, you don't really care whether you overshoot because in a tournament, you definitely want to play that hole with a kingmaker. And with a kingmaker, I think you really only need to use about one, one and a half topspin. It doesn't take much. Pure setup. 
And you have to do that with your club. So like when you start playing a new tour and you're out there playing those holes, do not, that's why it's so important when you talk about bankroll. You know, like if you've, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard the thing about, you know, having 10 times whatever the buy-in is. I've never really been a big fan of that. My whole deal is, is that the way I want to work it is I want to have enough cash that I can go in there and take my lumps on those holes and be able to really kind of work those holes out so that you can figure out stuff like that right there. I mean, like you can go to that hole and set it up and then the next time you get there, bam. Hit one ring great to the right. Close, close. But if we get on this hole again, I know it's only going to be, it's going to be a quasar. And it's going to be one topspin. That's it. You don't have to get greedy when you're down in there. You don't have to get all the way to the bottom. Da -da 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 -da. So hopefully everybody's having a nice week off. Everybody's staying at home because of the... Uh, the, here in the U.S. and I'm sure around the world, staying at home because of the pandemic. I know that the numbers in the United States continue to go up. I'm the only one in my household that leaves and I've got a procedure for leaving. I go, there's a little store at the bottom of the hill from where I live and I, I go down there and get stuff, but there's a gloves, mask. My wife had a cold before this happened and she got tested. Finally got tested. I had to wait five days. So we were on kind of a quarantine for where she was in the house and I was actually staying in the garage so that I could make sure that we were able to get stuff. For about a month. <laughs> And we've left the house and gone for drives. Went out and took some drives out in the country and went and checked stuff out. I'm going to continue to try this shot from down here at the bottom. I really want to. And I think I'm getting too close, so I'm having to put too much backspin on it. I don't, I don't want to have to put that much backspin on it. Four. One four, I'm gonna do, do about one seven. That's a 20% over pull. Oh, if I could ever hit great. I'll tell you last week, that was my whole problem last week is I couldn't hit a perfect to save my butt. That was what, I mean, that's the whole deal is in, last, in the last tournament, it was holes number one, two, and three were the money holes. Those were the lowest hanging fruit. Six, six you had to get, but one, one, two, and three were very, very, very low hanging fruit. And I just couldn't get my act together. They're holes that I've eagled, I don't know how many times. Hole, eagled hole number one, hole in one, hole number two. Hole number three, getting the Albi is definitely, when you're playing tournament, is definitely um, albiable. And in my practice account, I did I did pick up Albies on that hole, but I just couldn't get it together in my main account on those first three holes. And I shot decent. Shot 27s, 28s, and uh, you know that's that's not bad, but that's definitely not good enough to get you a win or a banner. You really need to be 30 or better. But this tournament that's coming up, this coast to coast tournament, is not going to be like that. I, I think that this coast to coast tournament, I think the minimum score really should be listed at minus 11 and there's opportunities. There's holes. Hole number one, we have an opportunity to pick up, um, hole in one, hole number two, we have an opportunity to pick up an Eagle. Hole number three is a birdie hole with an Eagle opportunity. That's why it's minus 11. Hole number four, we do have an eagle opportunity. Hole number five, we've got another hole-in-one opportunity. We've got opportunities on these holes. Hole number six, we do have an opportunity for Albie. Hole number seven, we got a, that's definitely a hole-in-one of a hole. 
hole number eight. We have a definite opportunity for an eagle. And hole number nine is another one where we have an opportunity, but there's there's opportunities to pick up holes, but this is not going to be like the last few tournaments. This tournament's going to be a little bit lower scoring. The question is, is can you get around that band? And I tried the other day to really force the issue. I brought out a bigger ball. I brought out bigger equipment. Tried to get around that band, and it's possible. One, two, one. Oh, jeez. Focus. Focus, damn it. <laughs> I still have a short iron shot from there. I need to take my time more when I'm doing the shot. It, what's funny is, is when I'm playing, when I'm playing and I'm not recording or I'm not talking while I'm recording, I, cause there's a lot of times I'll sit down and, and watch TV at nighttime with my wife and we'll, and I'll just be playing and we'll be talking and we'll just be watching TV. And if I catch some of these holes, I'll go voiceover. I have tons of time. I usually have 10, 12 seconds to let that needle go by and get into a rhythm. And I can, and I hit perfect all the time, all the time. But when I'm shooting the videos here, I usually I'm down to like the very last second. So I have to release quick and it, it throws my timing off. And I'm just, a, yeah, there's Max. There's man, so we're at about mid, 1.75 per ring. So that's a one ring pool. Now let's see if I can hit this perfect. Hitting it perfect. In the hole. That's what I'm talking about right there. Hit it perfect, goes in. I have never done an elevation adjustment on this, so I'm not sure like this week whether the community as a whole is talking about elevation adjustments, but I know if you're using the paper numbers like I use, where you're basing it fully just off pen and paper, that the uh, I've never done a, a wind adjustment an elevation adjustment. I've always just done a straightforward shot on that. And if you hit it perfect, it goes in the hole. Let's open up some chests. We've got three more to go. Let's see if we'll have time because I dropped that one. I have time. I think I might have time. I might. Let's get these chests rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Do not know what was in those chests. Don't care. It's a numbers game. So golf club or play demo came out with the uh, a new announcement on their fair. I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I'm. You know, my clan. We play. All right, we got this all again. We play. We play rookie. There's no judgment. We play rookie. I play three accounts. I play one account that's in a rookie pro, one account that's in rookie expert, and one account that's in rookie masters. In the weekend round, every single person in my odd odd account is a master. In my 77 account, every single person is an expert. And they all have clubs and games and money accordingly. I mean, I can go through my bracket and you can see how many people, you know, how much they've won and how long they've been playing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to bed. All right. I'm going to lay up up here in the front. Let's do this with uh, this this bag because I want to, I really want to hit this with my guardian. I don't have as good a ball guide here, so I'm going to do three and a half top spin. Yeah, that might be too much. Let's do three. 
six six. No, there's five. There's six six. Getting a little laggy. Yeah, it's getting really laggy. Jesus, I, I'm not even gonna be able to get it off. Jeez. I had so much lag on it, I can't, I don't even know what happened right there. I'm sitting six feet from my internet connection. I'm looking at uh, my other device. I've got Max bars. I'm just wondering sometimes if that lag isn't like, is it, does your opponent affect your, your stuff and you get lag sometimes from them as well? Like if their, their connection is not really strong because my connection has been strong up to this point. Maybe it was because my wife walked out here and was talking to me. That was the deal. It lagged because it's like, hey, dude, you need to quit playing for a second. Pay attention to your wife. <laughs> And I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to, I want to find out what it looks like up here in the front, whether this is actually a good, a good landing zone or not. So let's just stick it right here in the front. I don't know that I would want to get any closer than this right here to the front. It starts to roll downhill from here. And if you had any kind of speed at all, you, you may roll into that rough. That's about as far as you could get. Fortunately for me, my opponent messed up on their drive, so. Usually when I come to this hole, I'm my drive shot, because I don't get too aggressive. I don't try and get down where my opponent was trying to get or where my last opponent got. Although with that extra mile nine, it might be easier to get down there. That might be a shot that I may, may explore a little bit more. I'm, I don't normally like to do those types of shots <clears throat> where at the end of the run, you're trying to land in an area, in a rough area. I don't usually like doing that. So with my guardian, my guardians, well, and once again, I have the wrong ball. Damn it. What was I thinking? What were you thinking? It can't be my fault. <laughs> Six is a full ring set. My rings are a little distorted. I'm going to push forward and put the power back on it. Where is the power? There it is. Put some curl on it to bring it back to the hole and a little bit of overpower. Let's do max curl. Isn't it perfect? See if you can ride up that hill and get up there. A guardian might work if you brought a big enough ball, but because if I had a kingmaker, it, it might put me. It might. It might work. Because normally I come at this hole with a big dog. So if I get to this hole again, the only other bag, the only bag that I have that has a big dog, and it's my big topper bag. So I bring my big topper out and we'll see what that shot looks like. Secondary club. I'm not too concerned because I know for a fact that if I do play that land, that spot up there where I do the layup at the top, I'm going to play it with a rock or a QB. I'm going to play it with the most accurate club that I have in my bag. That's got the best distance to get me there, which will probably be my rock. Wind should not play a factor from this distance. And if you think about it, wind should not play a factor from that distance because I only got about two inches off the ground. I mean, I got maybe what, three feet off the ground. That's the thing about the wind in this game. The wind in this game on, when we talk about secondary wind effect, Secondary wind effect cracks me up because the first bounce was the wind that we saw and we accounted for. And then the second bounce, the wind is affecting the second bounce. So if you're on a drive and you're hitting it, you know, trying to get way down there, then your first bounce is going to get affected. Your second bounce is going to get affected. And, but at a certain point, the wind is not going to affect it. You know, on a windy day, the closer you get to the ground, the less wind there is. Yes, ma'am. 
Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm looking for Buster's two favorite shoes. The one with all the bristly things on it and a bone and purple stuff. And then the little blue ring. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Neither one of them are out here. These are the only toys that he has out here. And I washed them. Let's keep this inside. So that secondary wind effect, like when you're when you're far away, I can, but when you're close up, it, I don't think it's equatable to like the real world, because the lower the closer you get to the ground, the more f friction the Earth causes on the wind, and the less wind you have at ground level. So the next time it's a little bit breezy outside of your house, you can sit on one side of your house and there's no wind because you're in the you're in the the lee side of your house and you can go to the other side of your house and now you're on the windward side. But when you get in between your house and your neighbor's house, now you're in that draft and then go stand on your roof. I can guarantee you the wind's blowing on your roof. I've been on thousands of roofs and I can guarantee you if there's any kind of wind, you're, it's definitely blowing on the roof. And when you're in areas like this where you're with these trees, some of these shots that were taken, there's very little wind. The drive shots are definitely going to be affected by the wind. So like trying to equate it to what it would be like in the real world, there is no equation to like what it's like in the real world because that's that portion is manufactured by the game. I read a, a post today that somebody put on there where they were talking about... Uh, you know, like this game compared to real golf. The thing about this game is, is that they want people to have fun. So instead of going out and shooting, you know, par in golf clash is minus 12 on any course. Some courses, it's harder to get that minus 12. Like the, the tournament that we're getting ready to play, minus 11 is the minimum because there's a couple holes in there that are, there's a par five in there that's really a birdie hole with an eagle opportunity. And so that makes it fun because you can go out there and you're you're able to make these shots instead of like, hey, I got par, I got par. If I wanted to play a simulation, there's a lot of golf simulations out there. It's one of the things I like about golf clashes is, is that it bridges that gap between an arcade game where you don't have to have a ton of skill and it, and the simulation and the simulation part is, is that you can play this game and, and have a lot of fun and be pretty successful until you get to about tour seven or eight. And then as soon as you get to tour seven or eight, typically by the time you get to tour eight, if you don't know how to adjust that win, now we're in that simulation part. I'm going to do because my opponent, where my opponent's at, let's see, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take an extra mile. Man, damn that extra mile hits a mile, doesn't it? Let's see what happens if I bring out a Titan with that wind. Hell, I might be able to make it over there. One. I'm going to go with my blue ring off the transition right there, and I'm going to leave that wind in. And I got just about all of it. Let's see if I can make that over. I think it'll hit. Boom. <laughs> I think I got my trajectory wrong. I'm going to work this hole because I am done playing this hole. I, I've been, I played that. I did, I did work out and I can't remember where it was. I did it one time and then I moved on and, and, and went someplace else. But I played that shot with a Marlin and actually was able to, uh, to get it onto this fairway with a Marlin. But I'm I'm done playing this hole, trying to get it onto that little island because it sucks so bad trying to get up on the green. It's you work your butt off to try and get up there, and the second shot sucks. This is one of those holes. This is not one of my favorite holes in the game. They caught that nice. They might be all right. They might be all right. Give themselves a nice little look at it there. Very nice. Nice shot. Well played. 
Nice shot. Nice shot, man. I'm going to pull back just a little so I don't have to do any overpower. Two, four, six, and a titch. It's two per ring. It's actually more than that, but I always do two. And I hit it 7,000 rings great to the left. Now I'm going to sink this shot, so they better sink theirs. They definitely have an advantage with the rapier, but I am. I'm going to sink this shot. That's it. If it seems like when I'm out here playing one-on-one, -on -one, I'm just screwing around, that's because I'm just screwing around. Sometimes it these tournaments are you got the tournaments are so serious and we put so much effort into them that they're just mentally and physically I mean they're mentally and and really kind of physically draining. But there are times I just want to go out and just just like play and have some fun and not worry about like what's going on. Excellent, nice shot, nice shot, man, nice shot. Do, 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 do. Like I knew that I would, yeah. I feel good. I guess they're going to make me go up close to it. Hey, where are we? It's going to push me forward. I'm going to miss that if I hit it perfect. I'm going to miss it to the right. Oh, I think I anticipated that. <laughs> the video was going good until that. And I'm going to have, I'm not even going to be able to get in all my holes. How crappy is that? What kind of crappy player am I? Jeez. <laughs> I guess they took my money and didn't want to play anymore. Bastards. All right, let's see if we can get one more. And if the video stops all of a sudden, thanks for watching. Tour six. I need to start bringing out better balls on these ones that are for tournament holes and stop, instead of just going out there with the normal stuff. It'd piss my opponent off, but who cares? And I need to change up my bag a little bit so that on some of these holes I can... Uh, Come out with what more with what we would be uh, playing with in a tournament. And this is a quasar. What was I thinking? If I remember correctly, I'd moved off that about a half a ring. So it's two, four, six, eight. It's eight three, max over power hook. I really want to clip the rough. I really want it to come around the band right here and not catch the fairway. I want it to catch that rough because this will put me back in that uh, in the rough up in front here, which you can get on from here because you can wrap yourself around those trees. It's not impossible, but you have a better shot to go through this lane right here if you clip the rough on the other side and it throws you out so that you can. Do the, the, I know that my opponent last time was able to get the eagle going to the right. You can also come straight forward out here. Try and get as close to that sand without getting in the sand, obviously, as possible. Getting somewhere like up there between the sand and the rough, as far down there as you can. And if you have a big dog in your bag, you can get on. Big dog's got tons of power, tons of topspin, tons of curl. It just doesn't have any ball guide. Uh, 
Now there is a lane, but I'm not a fan of hitting through those trees at all. Let's see if we can get this right this time. Okay, there's Max. There's my club. There's Max. There's Mid. I'm in that three per ring range again. About the same. Maybe forward just a little bit. Two one. A little less than a ring. About three and a third, two thirds of a ring. Max curl. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if that put me a little closer. A little. A little too much backspin, but I think that, that trajectory wasn't too bad. Nice recovery. So you can hit through these trees. I am not a fan of this. I'm just curious if they pull it forward enough. No, see, this is what happened to me the last, and what, earlier in the video I was talking about on this hole. I got on a spot where I couldn't pull the bar, ball any farther forward. Because it would start clipping the bottom of the tree. And from where they're at right there, I'll tell you what, they hit that thing great to the right. And they are in big, big trouble. And they didn't take the wind out, which is going to push them to the tree to the left. And they hit it great to the left. And they just barely made it through there. Nice, nice. Very nice. I will say I think they got a little lucky there, though. But that was nice. If you can't be good, be lucky. That's the deal. Is my video going to stop? Am I there? I'm almost there. We might be able to get the shoot out. And then the video is going to stop. And I was unsuccessful. I couldn't even get my pin chest done in 56 minutes. Let's hope I can get all that out of my system from last week. Play three accounts, that's 135 holes. Not including practice, but just counting the regular holes. And at 135 holes, I think I hit 10 perfect into the cup. And I made like eight of the 10. <laughs> so at least my percentage there was okay, but and the deal is, is you're not going to win a whole lot if you can't hit perfect into the cup. That's just how that works. What I really want to do is just put on one side spin. I guess maybe I could put on a little bit more. I keep hitting this shot great to the left, and that's a big problem. Two, four, six. I'm going to do about a two, six pull. Jeez, my timing sucks so bad. I'm surprised that I got that perfect. It looked like I hit it great. And I did a 20% pull there, but I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to continue. And you can see right here at the bottom that there's the hill kind of terminates right along this, this cut line when it's coming to the cup. And I'm trying to just ride that, that line right at the bottom of the slope to come up at the cup so that the hill's not affecting me. I just think if I can find the spot with the amount of, and the deal is I'm going to keep shooting that shot and I'm just organically shooting it. I'm not going out there and saying, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm just trying to organically shoot it. And then I can go back and watch those videos and I can see like where I made mistakes or where I made errors or like what I did right and what I did wrong and be really critical of, of like how I want to come at it so that I can start to dial that in. So I know that, Hey, it's going to be one right-hand side spin. Nice shot. Nice shot. You see a lot of people get hole in ones coming down that hill, but I've never been a fan of coming down the hill just because I really don't like those slopes affecting my ball. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that is it. I'm going to run out of time. You can only shoot four gigs. Four gigs? So look at that. I didn't even finish my pin chest. That was unsuccessful. 
<laughs> All right, so that was some uh, tour six. Got some of the tournament holes. I got a chance to look at a couple of um, of the holes to kind of see like where I'm at. I'm gonna. I I may have a pin chest behind this one. If I have a pin chest behind this one, I'll uh, I'll I'll shoot another video. And I'm going to. I'm definitely gonna start bringing out titans and start bringing out a little bit bigger ball. I'm gonna change my bag around a little bit too. Um, for some of those holes, just to make sure I'm going to look at my notes real quick and make sure that I have the right ball club combination so that when I get on those holes, I can play them. But uh, I'll be living in tour six for the rest of the week. That's I'm going to play tour six anytime I'm playing one on one just so that I can get more time on those holes and see if I can get some uh, get some good shots and post some video. Thanks for watching.